Let's light up the night here with Chandra this fine evening. What do we have here? Well, this is a 5-0 list from three weeks back now, two, three, four weeks back, sometime around November. And what it's doing is using cards like Light Up the Night and Chandra Fire Artisan to do some extra damage. So Light Up the Night reads that it does X damage, X plus one to creatures and planeswalkers, and you can do it to any target. And then it has a flashback that once you remove loyalty counters from a planeswalker, you deal X damage, X cannot be zero. Fire Artisan, when counters are removed from this creature, uh, from this planeswalker, it deals damage. We're gonna be using it as a draw engine, but also using it possibly with the combination of Light of the Night to do quite a bit of damage. The rest of the list is very Red Prison. We are playing Ragavans in here, interestingly enough. We have Chandra Regulator, which is kind of cool as well, because that can uh, spin up some cool things with our two Chandras here. We'll see how Light Up the Night, though, does, and the Fury is obviously in here, and Mainstay and Red Decks currently in the meta. Chalice and Ragavan, we'll see how it works. Sideboard's a smattering of cards, a little less toolbox, a little more. You're going to bring sets of them in for the matchups where they're most needed. Question, what is the upside of Bomb over EE? Uh, you can get it to two, where in this list we can't get, we're mono red, mono red list, you can't get it to two. So if you ever need it on two, you could also just have it out and immediately pop it for zero. So it's not that much different than engineered explosives, other than because we're one color, we can put it higher if need be. Let's get things light, light it up, lit up, light, let's do it. Let's play magic, shall we? Shall we? We got boils in this list too. I'm down for that. Let's, let's boil some lands. You hear Ratchet Bomb is, I immediately start hearing the MTG Remy song. I don't think I saw that one. I'm trying to remember. I saw one and I was like, oh, this is pretty funny. I'm trying to remember which one that was. It wasn't too long ago, so it's a more recent song list. On we go though. Oh. Dylan. We'll keep the opening hand with a Ragavan. <laughs> ah, I didn't switch out which snow cover mountains I have. All right. Oh, crap. Well, this will be interesting. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. We have a ley line of combustion here. Red Punisher, perhaps. We'll see how things go. I don't necessarily target my opponent. Hopefully, they're having to attack me. Blood Chief's Ascension here. All right. Let's attack. See what's going on over there. Oh, Gatekeeper. Well, there's nothing to exile. I think I'm going to just ramp myself and pass turn. Maybe I'll slam a Fury down. Who knows? Who knows? Eidolon, the Great Rebel. You got it. One, two, three, four, five. Excuse me. We'll take a little bit of damage, but not too much. In for two. They're playing Punisher. That being said, I think they're going to be a little bit behind us in the Punisher world here. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. Dylan might be streaming. You could probably go figure out what the deck is from Dylan. If one of the folks want to want to want to give the information. All right, let's go ahead and hit for a bunch of damage here. Let's see what they've got for me. Now we're down to eight. This is season pyromancer. It's pretty good. Let's do it at the beginning of each end step. If an opponent lost two or more life this turn, quest. Whenever a card is put into the graveyard from anywhere, if Blood Chief Ascension has three or more quest counters on it, you have gain two, lose two. This would be one, two, that put them to six, five, four. Play Blood Moon here. 
knock him off black. <clears throat> Ended up spinning into a Blood Moon. I was going to play Chandra there and just uptick, but the Blood Moon feels really strong against the black here. Maybe I can prevent them from doing some weird combo here. Whenever an opponent loses life, that player mills that many cards. That doesn't feel good. I think we win, right? I don't think I'm missing anything. Bolt's Fury. Okay. Two, four, five, six. Top of the library for us. Ley line. That's pretty funny. Play Chandra. Doesn't matter. We'll do the two here. Oh, we showed light up the night. No. All right. So my opponent looks like they're basically trying to get a Blood Chief's Ascension working for them and utilizing this. Let's see. Whenever a card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, if there's three or more quest counters on it, you may have it lose two life, gain two. And then with Mind Crank, whenever an opponent loses life, that player mills that many cards. So we basically, if they can get this going... The, the combo just dumps things to my graveyard and then I lose. So, don't like that. Let's bring a Ratchet Bombs actually in for this. I don't care about Bridge, I don't think, for this matchup. Um, Man, I just gotta go fast. Kinda want these Shattering Sprees in here for the Mind Crank. Give her the regulators. And give it a shot. I think we I think we put it together handsome. <clears throat> well, but got Ragavan. Do we do this again? I'll try it. I've heard monkeys really good. The blood crypt. There's the blood chief's ascension. Ragavan in play. Here we go. Their own Ragavan. Let's attack. Yeah. They block. It's not a new synergy. Oh my gosh. Help me. There we go. There we go. There's some cards. Get Ratchet Bomb up to one. Obviously blocking here. <laughs> Stop. Stop. All right. I'm going to play the Ratchet Bomb because I want this up to one because I need to get rid of the Blood Chief's Ascension. This gives them a turn with their black mana. They were going to hit me with Ragavan anyway. So I'm going to use this to my advantage here to hopefully... <laughs> There's a Ragavan. From here, hopefully, like, set them back a little bit. It was a Stacy's Mom parody. All right. Can't say I remember. Oops. oops, oops, oops. Oh. I had a, a stop, thankfully. What the hell is Ratchet Bomb for? Better EE. Because I'm mono red. <laughs> Kills big constructs. <laughs> I'm liking it kills all the nasty one drops. I'll just blood moon and pass turn here with Ratchet Bomb on one. <laughs> Dylan doesn't like Ratchet Bomb. Look at how great Ratchet Bomb is right here. Alright, obviously I'm gonna pop this. What do you got? Got another Blood Chief's Ascension here? Answer appears to be no. All right. You know what? Instead of bashing out a Fury here, I'm going to do Season Pyromancer this turn. Then I can abrade plus Fury next turn. And this is in case they play like a Ragavan or something. Let's 
This is a good draw. Looking pretty good. Doing our thing. Dylan's a little stuck on lands, it appears. Doesn't want to use the treasure token. <laughs> oh, we're going to get to light up the night. We didn't get to use it. <laughs> All right, take down Dylan, unfortunately. 2-0, quick and clean. Getting to use Ratchet Bomb immediately there and proving out why it's a pretty spicy little card. And I feel justified that I said I'd want to bring it into Red Prison now. Done. <laughs> it's going in. It's going in. Kills tokens, too. You know? It's not a bad thing. All right. 1-0. 1-0 against Frog. Uh... If I hit a land, it'd be good. I think we mulligan this. I need more than one land. Here we go. Okay. Keep Ditch Chandra. This Fury's a little bit better here. My opponent didn't show me anything. You know what? they didn't show me anything i'm just gonna ditch the fury trust chandra will be enough i have i have a decent amount of like spot removal Woo! monkey right on time you only have to play two half the budget slap two monkeys in your list you'll draw them every time easiest easiest game ever right triome all right we're looking at probably rhinos Probably Rhino. Nope. Nope. Okay. Bolt. That is definitely not Rhinos. Pass the turn. Maybe we'll get a Blood Moon down. Playing this over the Scrying Sheets sort of to, to hide a little bit that I have a Utility Land here. Oh, Dwarven Mine. Excellent. All right. We got a Counter Spell. Let's find out together, shall we? So we're indomitable creativity here. They have ways to get out of this. It's a basic. That's a good sign for us. Remand. Remands. They remanded our blood man. Who's even playing remand anymore? Renin six. You got it. What did Foothills pick it up? Go get a forest. Herod Mesa. I sort of hate this, but we'll go ahead and play the Blood Moon. I hate it because they're going to go get a Dwarven Mine and Indomitable Creativity. Oh, they're not. Steam Vents. Hard evidence. We got a crab. We got a crab. Cracks Clue. Picks up land. Plays Dwarven Mine. We have two creatures. By the way, Ratchet Bomb looking hilarious here. All right. Um, let's think here. I guess I play Blood Moon here and hope that they don't have another counter and hope they don't have Indomitable. And if they don't have those, the following turn I can abrade both creatures away and maybe we'll be good i think that's our line here it's a bit of a narrow line but i could attempt to abrade both of those they then run in six wooded foothills gets a dwarven mine spins the wheel anyway and if they're the amrical list then i'm just praying for a i would be praying for an staring bridge off the top where i think this plays into potentially they miss here i kill both because they haven't played the indomitable just yet and drawing with the clue to me indicates that they don't have the answer. So let's see if we can pick both of these off here. Now, we do have 
Renin 6 that's about to emblem, so that's gonna get a little fancy. Maybe I can get a dashing monkey to pick Renin 6, but we'll get we'll get to this problematic card next. Up it goes. Maybe they have to just bolt Chandra a whole bunch. Then we'll make a bunch of these. Then we'll be good. <clears throat> Maybe I lead with Season Pyromancer. Maybe if I top deck a land, I get to play land Chandra uptick Season Pyromancer, get rid of these two cards. Dang. That's frightening. It's very, very frightening. All right. Let's put the most into play here. Put the most into play and roll the dice. See what we top deck here. All right, light up the night. Could mess with the Ren and Six, but I sense the Ren and Six isn't gonna be here for very much longer. Bolts me, I'm at 16. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can make this six. X is six right now. Doesn't quite kill Sarah's. I doubt they would name sorcery. Okay, we got an emblem. We got an emblem. Can I get a Chandra Artisan? Chandra Artisan wouldn't be bad here. They are passing the turn to us. Ooh. All right, two mana. Let's play a Mind Stone down. Just fire one of these off. For five. They're dead next turn. They're dead next turn. We did the math. Because you have to you have to pay for these. They don't have blue mana here. All right, if they kill Chandra and kill our board, we still have six here for light up the night. Opponent bolts us once. Opponent bolts us again. Oh, please don't have just all lands in your hand. Bolts us a third time. Bolts us a fourth time. They need two lands here. Do they have the two lands to bolt us six times for 18 damage? We're presenting lethal, so they can see we have lethal here. We're not firing it off. Oh my gosh. They probably have one more land, and we're looking for a top deck land. Oh, there she is. All right. So I'm going to play some boils. Um, ratchet bombs probably okay here, too. I don't think our chalices make a lot of sense. Yeah, I was very close. Let's see here, spyglass is okay. Like I could get rid of regulator and chalices here for these cards. Ratchet bombs strictly for all the tokens that they play that they're gonna spin indomitable off of. Uh, yeah, Light Up the Night, I mean, it's a rare, so I'm going to wait for the Double Down or whatever the other version is that comes out. That's what I'm going to wait for. I wonder if I need these Abrades or if I can do something like something else. I mean, bridges are probably a little bit needed. Let's take these out. Let's start with 222. 
The boil is kind of a cute card, but it's the way I get rid of the island. I don't know, what's it called? The Crimson Vow, hold on. Player, light up the night. Double feature. I'm gonna pick up four of these when they're available. This one, the, the double the double feature. I'm gonna pick up four of these and four braids. Cause I, I think, I don't like the lands because it's hard for me to distinguish between the lands and lands colors matter, but um, these are cool. It still has the art and everything. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll probably pick up these as well. I just have the two versions. I do like this art though, I'm just saying. The yeah, braid's cool too, if you look up the double, what, what, what do we call it, double down or whatever? All right. Let's see how lucky we get with Blood Moon this time around. Ragavan's still staying in there because Ragavan can ramp us to quicker Blood Moons. And like I said, Ratchet Bomb's here to get rid of tokens like clues, crabs, and dwarven mine creatures. Well, there's Ragavan. All right, who's ready for Ragavan to get tagged by Brennan Six? Do I even, maybe I don't. Nah, I'll probably play it out, but it's probably getting tagged here, but let's let it get tagged then. Anyway, yeah, Light of the Night is looking pretty strong so far. I like this little mixture of a version of Red Prison, Red Scred, Red, big red, whatever you want to call this. Bolts away, Ragman. You got it. There she is. <laughs> I don't think this one comes in English, by the way. I would, I would, I don't think she's very expensive, though, either. Let's see here. Chandra Fire Artisan. No, she's not. The Japanese version looks like it's five bucks. The stained glass one's 250 and the normal one's 50 cents. Promo pack is a dollar with a little stamp. Yeah, I imagine she's cheap. The thing is that there's not like an English version, unfortunately. Unfortunately. All right, let's convert, I guess, lands. Well, this is getting interesting. My opponent doesn't like blow up this token over there. Boil's kind of cool. Dollar eighty in Japan. Yeah, it's just not very expensive. I just like this art. It's really cool. Prismatic ending. All right. I'm going to pass the turn hoping that they fetch with the wooded foothills here and get like an island and then I'll boil. Uh, it's not an island. What are you doing, opponent? All right, whatever. Boom. Goodbye, lands. <laughs> Foil Japanese art. I mean, luckily I don't get a lot of foils. It's a tap dwarven mine. My opponent has been set back drastically here. To fairy ups. Deals X damage. Not quite there. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! Look at this card! It's here! It's here to stay! Boyle set my opponent back two lands. We'll see if that benefits us here. Tap land. They go up to six. I'd be careful. You don't want to keep running that. It's exile. Blood Moon looks great. My opponent will bounce Blood Moon. This is why this is okay. Then we'll scrying sheets. You got it. Then I can probably get rid of the Teferi. 
opponent doesn't have any blue mana. And they give up. And they give up. Scrying Sheets is going to reveal Ragavan. Woo! <laughs> She's coming down. She's coming to say hello. That's a, a good start. Kind of like uh, Goblin's last league. I believe this uh, playmat exists somewhere. I might actually, you know, pick up the playmat. I think this art's really, really fitting. Actually, this is probably the art I wish Dress to Kill was, and then embellish the dress a little bit more. Like, when you think about it, they're not that different looking. You could get confused. You could you could really get confused. All right, one landers are, are no-goes here. Let's mulligan that. Oh, this has two lands. Two lands, we have a Light of the Stage, we have Fury of Double Chalice. Opponents didn't show us anything. We'll probably keep a Chalice and just see what the lands can do for us. Throw a Chalice on one. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Oh, it's good. It's just Merc Tide. Ragavan's Pain. Let's attempt Chalice on one. And let's get Let's be disciplined here. It should be light up the night. The Bone Crusher's a little more utility here. Kill Ragavan, so it's out of here. And let's see what my opponent's got. Blood Moon's gonna be our best draw here against a Murktide. <clears throat> Needed the land first, but thank you, deck. Thank you. Don't mind us. Counters the chalice. They're filling up the graveyard with goodies. This is why Blood Moon would be really good here. And step, I'm going to use Bone Crusher Giant in the hopes that my opponent goes, oh, I'm going to stop you and counter before Murktide shows up. If Murktide shows up here, I have to play Bridge first. Yeah, they're playing Murktide. All right, so Bridge is the priority now. We could theoretically maybe try to get a Blood Moon down because there's a unlikely chance here that my opponent will be able to counter. And the Blood Moon might be a little bit more potent. But, you know, you got to hit lands first. Fury would have been interesting there. All right, little 4-4 Murktide. We'll bobble and Flooded Strand for my opponent. Blood Moon looking worse and worse here. I might have to lead with it. Get a counter out of their hand, maybe. It's five turn clock. Let's see if we can uh, find that third land. We do. We do. Let's attempt Blood Moon first. They may let this just resolve. This is a tiny Merc Tide. I have a chance here. Bolts. Okay. Okay, resolved. It's interesting, they're leaving two islands here and used a Bolt to fill the graveyard for like another Merc Tide. I have a feeling we might be seeing another Merc Tide here. Unholy Heats. Yeah, 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 grow it. Grow, grow, grow. And we play Bridge. And we hope they don't have Petty Theft. Chalice on two will be our next target. Big Merc Tide. Seven, seven, six, six. In for seven, down to nine. Bridge go. Bridge or I die. Bridge is required here. All right. Playing that whole prison thing. I would prefer to have a land here and get Chandra down as that can win around the bridge. Worst case, I'll play the Season Pyromancer. <clears throat> Let's 
It's kind of cool to see a blood moon, right? You know, doing the thing. Chalice countering the... Chalice countering the lightning bolt. I really do want this. Let's uh, play Bone Crusher here and pass. I want to give myself one more chance here to get Chandra. Drawing cards is not a problem here. My opponent cannot attack me. Chalice check or filling it for bigger Merc Tides in the future. It was exiled anyway from expressive iteration, so why let it go to waste, I suppose. All right, we do find the land here, which is great. Get to play Chandra. Hope there's no remand counter Aether Gusts. Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce countered. Up we go. Damage. We are on our way. <laughs> Good old Merktide. Ooh. Ooh. A player. Give my opponent something to think about here. I can play the card. That was nifty. I got a land off of it. We're normally not getting to do that. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Up here first, I suppose. I don't know if there's a proper sequence here. Bone Crusher. Let's do mana here. Play Bridge. Got a counter spell. Let's do two damage here. Let's pass the turn. Lots of spells here. We need them to not remove bridge here for one turn. I suppose I could have like down ticked or something here. Looks like we're getting there though. Emblem. Uptick here. Plenty of spells, like I said. Regulator, sounds great. Five. Don't even have to show anything else. Bone Crusher, five them. Woo! All right, digging power of this artisan. Good. Bridge and Blood Moon obviously helping a lot here. And Chalice on one doing what it needs to do against the Merc Tide. All right. Ratchet Bombs come in for this matchup. And Relics. Okay. Question is, what do we take out here? Chalice and one's good. Ratchet Bomb can help us if Chalice gets killed. I don't see Ragavan really connecting to our opponent's face. We need the extra bridge. Boil's not bad because they're going to fetch for basics. Chandra Awaken Inferno could replace an Artisan. I think Regulator can come out. Ragavan. Let's start there for Boil Bridge and a Relic, maybe. The thing is, the Relic keeps Rag or Darcy in check, and it also prevents Murktide. I'm feeling like Light Up and Fire Artisan, like as as great as this combo is, I'm almost feeling like I just need to bring in the threats, right? This is interesting because if they attack it with anything, they attack with Ragavan or Darcy, they, it, it, it kills them. What if I just, man, I really, I really wish I knew how the person played this because maybe, maybe this is like some season pyromancers out for like, like two relic, two ratchet bomb here. And then one awakened inferno, like, like, how does that look? Then we have Bone Crusher, Abrade, and Light of the Night to kill the little creatures. We have double Chandra's to get us deeper. Fury kills the little creatures. We have Boils and Chandra's to finish the game and Bridges to stall. This feels feels good. Maybe, 
want this one more. I'm on the draw. Yeah, I, th I think I'm I think I'm just gonna have to leave it at home. I think I'm gonna leave it at home. <clears throat> I think regulator's decent, but not needed in most games. Because it's kind of I won't say later game, but kind of is. Dang it, Ragavan. Can I get a light up the night? One moment. I need to buy a lottery ticket. Lottery.com. Yes. One ticket. That's all I need. X plus one damage if it's a creature. What a night. What an absolute crazy night in terms of top decks. Serum Visions here. My opponent misses a land. We're going to go ahead and just use the time to ramp ourselves. Go ahead, opponent. Love to get Fire Artisan down. I can't believe I'm saying that. I would love Fire Ar land Fire Artisan. Fiery, Fire Feed Forf. Oh, Serum Visions again. Did they bottom both? I didn't even pay attention. Oh, they bottom both. They're digging like a crazy person. Oh, we missed though. We missed. Is this the time to go ahead and get a bridge down? No. Nah. 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 We're so far ahead. They topped and bottom, by the way. They were getting a land. Darcy. We'll uh, attempt to remove you. Removing in progress. Please wait. All right. Do we think they have Spell Pierce? If they do, this doesn't land. I'm tempted to just bridge here while I have an opportunity. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play around Spell Pierce. I scared. I scared. Dodged. That feels so correct to have done that that way. I think that's like one of the few things that they have that can kind of like get them back in this game. And if they have a Ragavan that they dash in, we Bone Crusher it. If they have another Darcy, I'd probably go for the Bone Crusher again just to get it out of my hand. Keep going closer to the bridge. Ooh, ooh, land. Okay. Well, I'll try for it. Yep, yep, yep. This has got to be the card we played around. So they're going to get to hit me once here. I could then follow up with a Fury or I can do Chandra. Well, they'll hit me. They'll have one more spell. But at that point, it's probably, we're probably safe. If I had a land where we have five, it would be six. You got it. You got it. Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce. There you go. There you go. I don't know why you didn't save Monkey. I didn't know why you saved Monkey. Express iteration. Am I just playing Fury and then like passing here and then attacking with a Fury because I'll have three cards in my hand? What if I Chalice? Chalice on one plus Bone Crusher? I'm actually going to hold this land here. I'm going to hold so I have the ability to attack for six next turn. Following turn, I'll attack for six, play the land, double bone crusher, and then repeat the idea. This blocks, and if my opponent bolts this off, fine. It's one more bolt I don't have to have at my face. Or on Holy Heat. Your choice, opponent. We are opening ourselves up to a Ragavan dashing in here briefly. I will take that chance to have had an opportunity to attack with my Fury. 
We're gonna play some Bone Crushers next turn. We're gonna play some Bone Crushers. Darcy and Counterspell Magic up. See if they have a Counterspell. Chalcum one's pretty good. Resolves. Bone Crusher Giant. Resolves. What do you got? A braid? Nothing. Nothing. They're out. They're out of power. EE -E on zero. Well, that'll get rid of the chalice. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Attempt to play Fury here. This is to kill the Darcy. Hold the land. A little ways away from being able to attack. Counterspell here. Kills Chalice. This resolves. Kill Darcy. Holding land. Passing turn. All right. We have a lot of damage in play. It's stuck behind a bridge. Small problems. That's okay. We'll manage. We will manage. We can start probably using these here to, you know, be able to attack. Dang it. They got us. They got us. Chandra doesn't resolve either. They got us again. We're going to hold the two lands here because then Bone Crusher Giant can attack. I'll be drawing with Mindstone playing another Bone Crusher. There's Darcy. Again. Okay. Let's draw here. Let's attack. See if they want to trade with us. We're like best friends here. Offering the trade. Trade, oh, trade was accepted briefly. Trade accepted. Land drop, one, two, three, play this Bone Crusher, pass turn. All right, we're down to two cards in my opponent's hand. Surely we can get through here for some damage. And for four. And let's plop down a Ratchet Bomb. Pass the turn. We're gonna hold these lands. We need we need these so Bone Crusher can keep attacking. A little awkward here if they dash in a monkey. Here comes Murktide. All right, Murktide stops us here. It's gonna be what an eight eight, I think. <laughs> Ratchet Bomb's got so far to go. I mean, Shatter Skull could maybe get this, right? Oh, there you are. It's a six or more. It'll deal twice. So one, two, then one, two, three. We're not quite there. Let's go ahead and use this immediately. Actually, that was a bad idea. That grows out a lot. Actually, it's not too bad. There's only four, 12. This needs to get to six. We drew the land. I'm okay with what just happened. I don't want a second Murktide. We're, we're good, we're good. We might have reacted a little quick. We're kind of like coming along here. <laughs> Your Chalice and one. Counters. Land drop, pass the turn. There's no way I'm supposed to try to put this ratchet bomb all the way up to seven, right? We're gonna we're gonna try to shatter skull this. <laughs> we're we're gonna go for the big shatter skull to the the murktide face here. Hope they have zero counter spells, right? There's monkey. Okay. Draws a card. Well, I'm 
here, here. I'm supposed to put this up to 12, right? I think I'm supposed to do 12 and then they see that six. That's how this works. All right, counter. It's dead. Merc Tide is dead. We killed it. That's unbelievable, actually. That's kind of kind of unbelievable, if I'm not gonna lie. Fury to clear Ragavan here, okay. I'm gonna pass the turn and we're gonna be start holding cards again. Super satisfying to nail it for 12. I mean, I'll, I think I took all the light up the knights out, right? No, I didn't. It's so like, that would be okay to top deck. No, not another Murktide. How big is this Murktide? It's a 4-4, four, four. okay. We can kill a 4-4. Four, four. I'm gonna hold. I wanna attack with the Fury next turn. The Blood Moon doesn't do us that much here. It really isn't gaining us anything. All right, here we go. <laughs> In a way, I almost wanna to try to abrade if they go block here. Like, let's try it. This doesn't trade my Fury now. Just kind of nifty. They could counter this. They could also kill this Fury. I should probably have let first strike damage happen. Counters. We are trading. That's fine. Going to pass the turn with the Ratchet Bomb at one. I can kill the Ragavan or I can block with the Bone Crusher Giant. Okay. I'm going to wait one turn here. Then I will pop Ratchet, swing for four. They'll be at nine, and I'll have nine here on Light Up the Night. All right. Goodbye, Ragavan. Attack. We gotta try for it here. I'm going all. I I don't see a reason to not just like, hey, I'm going for this. <laughs> oh, I'm one short. Eh, we'll put him to one. This is getting countered. 100%. Take him to one. I was going to say, they have a counter, yeah. We'll be ready for the top deck light of the night for victories. That's what it's going to be. Here we go. Ready, everyone? Ready? Top deck, light up the night. We win. That was close. It's close. Yeah, if it was Banefire... Obviously, Light Up the Night has some nice synergies with this list, but yes, if it was a Bane Fire, I would have held it. Counter again? Oh. 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 Well, that was nifty. I'm going to put this on top. We're actually going to go ahead and run out everything else. We're going we're gonna to win from behind the bridge. My opponent has made that very clear to me. We're going to win behind the bridge here. Opponent goes to eight. All right, opponent. You made it clear. I'm not getting anything in here. We're just going to jam spell after spell after spell. Actually, maybe I'm just going to hold cards now. I jammed all the cards, and now I can't attack. Good job, Fluffy. 
We're on turn 23. That's a good number. She's not counter. This wins. Ugh, got countered. We got greedy. I just wanted to flash back and win the game. Bobble. I got greedy. We draw, they draw, we do all the drawing. I'm gonna hold the land, pass the turn. F6, F6. Expressive iteration, good for them. Find something to kill Fury, probably. Can't follow up with a Murktide, luckily for us. Taking them to two means pretty much all Chandras are lethal. I'll light up the knights are lethal. Yeah, at this rate, we're going to deck them. I don't know. How many Murktides have we seen? There's one. Two. I've seen two Murktides, so there's two more. <laughs> Grace. Always checking up on us. There we go. The one. Ooh. Attack. Play. Draw. Chalice on one. Followed by a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't win the game. We're not we're not doing too bad here. We're not doing too bad. There might be something to this. I might be picking up a brand new Chandra here when I log off tonight. <laughs> A little frustrated there's two Ragavans in this list. But maybe, maybe it's time to buy two. It's not as not as much of an investment, right? Right? It's not much of an investment. <laughs> it's all good, Grace. You missed Jun the Goblins. Match one, our mind decided to shut itself down. We were in, we were not interested in actually playing the combo. We just screwed up. It was embarrassing. We figured it out by match five, though. Match four coming up, though, playing the Light Up the Night with Chandra. Isn't that fitting? She would light up the night, right? Pyro... pyro Pyrokinetic ball of flames. Just wait for Modern Horizons 3 and new Ragavan in Old Borders. That's fine. I don't need a Ragavan in Old Borders. I haven't even bothered to pick up the monkey. I don't want the monkey. Keep. Got Chalice on one. No companion for my opponent. A Braids and Bridges. Let's go. Do I recognize your name from Twitch? I don't know. I don't know, opponent. You tell me. What is this, Naya? Sure. You put a chalice on one, I'll put a chalice on zero. Let's play magic. <laughs> okay, my opponent doesn't do anything. Play a scrying sheets and dig. I think I want bridge and a braid out of here and do another season pyromancy. Ooh. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yes. Why do I get so excited? <laughs> it's because it's cool art. I'm the red prison guy. Prison guy. All right. I think I want to try the Chandra first. But probably Torch of Defiance is more important here. Do some damage, hit him for, for a couple points here.
we'll worry about fire arson. Thanks, Windows notification. You're not supposed to do that. Hydrate. Let's see if they got another Helix. Helix's Chandra Torch of Defiance. That's fine. Mm. Dwarven Mine. Okay. Indominable Creativity shenanigans. I understand. I understand. Let's go. Mana here. Let's do three. This gives me the most draws to find Blood Moon. Chalice and sm Smashing. Let's go ahead and play Chandra. Just uptick and pass. Attack, obviously. Dang it. Regulator would have been fun. All right. In for two, 20 to 20. Kind of feel like I need this bridge now. Yeah, just Jun Goblins. That's all you missed. Steam Vents shocks in. That's terrifying. He passes the turn back. All right. Passes the turn back, and I have quite a bit of mana available to me, and I have both Chandra's active. All right. Steam Vents makes me kind of want to throw a Chalice on two here to avoid a remand and follow it with Blood Moon. My opponent could Indominal Creativity the Chalice of the Void, which is interesting. Let's do Mana first. Let's uptick with this Chandra as well. See what's on top. A Blood Moon. Now I have two Blood Moons. We'll play that Blood Moon. See if that makes them upset. Floats blue. Let's play a, another Blood Moon. Back to back Blood Moons. Okay. I want to hold this. See what else they're going to do. I was trying to get them to use that. They're going to make, uh, what, a token or something? Shark. It's a 3-3 three, three shark. I cannot do anything about the shark yet. Let's pass. All right, so my opponent's got sharks, chalices. They have indomitable creativity. They can get two creatures right now, which is what I think they're going to spin into. Okay, this is good. Well, post combat they could they could do something. Okay. Oh boy. So I need a bridge it, it looks like, right? All right, land, one, two, three, four. I could put this on four. Up to here first. Bridge? Not a bridge. Up to here for bridge. Kind of bone crusher giant. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Oh, I've already played a land, didn't I? Okay. All right, let's see what this what what happens here. My opponent's going to hit me for 15. They're blocking here, taking three. I'm going to put another chalice down here that I'm probably going to sacrifice. We're going to 
think about the sacrifice because we have six to lose here. All right, so I'm going to five. This is worth seven damage here. Annihilator six, okay. So I can get rid of a Blood Moon. I think it's okay to get rid of Chalice on zero. So that's two. I think I want all my lands, right? What am I going to want? I just kill all my creatures here. Kill all my creatures and kill one more land here. I was going to say, get rid of like just this and then kill the three. Because if I hit, if I, if I hit, if I were to hit them for 10, I mean, I'm... So down tick seven here, this equals this equals seven damage. Eight, nine, ten. I can put them to three. This would be another two. If I got rid of three lands here, I'd have just three mana. What can I hit with three? I can hit a Ragavan, but I can't cast that because of Chalice. I mean, I could hit, yeah, I could hit Bridge, obviously. Which would be fine. I want to keep Chalice on two because I'm afraid of a Helix. Because I have three lands. What else can I hit? I could hit a Regulator. Stomp would kill them. So I have three Stomps that would kill them. I have two... One, no, one bridge. Ragavan doesn't do it. Regulator would do it. I have three regulators. I have three knights that would do it. Five, that's ten cards. So it's better to just go for this because then I would have enough with the Chandra... Because what does four mana do? It just gets me another Chandra, right? Does another another Chandra would do it too? If I did this two, seven, eight, nine, puts them to four. Stomp, stomp by the Chalice. That's fair. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna lose one elemental, and then I'm gonna lose lands to give me four here. This makes it two, four, potentially six, plus seven is 13. Oh gosh, what are you casting? Chalice on three. Okay. It's actually not a lot of my outs, but that's a good idea that they put that on three. Here we go. Another Chandra Torch of Defiance does this. Bridge, Bridge does it too. I'm pretty, pretty confident Bridge does it, right? We still do this, right, to go for the kill. I guess we'll start here. Up. Two damage. Ragavan's a no-go. Then I go here, right? This is seven damage upstairs. And then we see what we hit. And if I hit something good here, we can go for it, right? It's not enough, so I have to play bridge. No, it is. Because I have this. I can now... We don't have to like play these immediately, right? Actually, the top seven cards, you may play them this turn. Combat for two. Try to play Chandra Torture Defiance and kill. With a Chalice on one, two, and three. Should be pretty safe. Did it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting these card. <laughs> I'm getting this card. <laughs> 
convinced. I swear, if I log off today and this jumps $3, because all you go pick it up, I'm going to be mad. Give me, give me the end of this game, please, chat. <laughs> yeah, it's like a dollar. I kind of want the Japanese looking one because I like the art, but. All right, so Ratchet Bomb is okay here to get rid of the tokens that my opponent's going to make to transmogrify. I don't think I need my chalices. So Ratchet Bomb plus like Boil here, maybe Spree. Bridge. Bridge is good. Bridge is good. Bridge one Boil. Shattering Spee? They did put a chalice on one. Oh, for 50 cents. I swear it goes up to $2. Flip the table. Uh, Waking Inferno is way too slow in this matchup. Spyglass could be good. They might have a few things that like bounce. I'm gonna bring a Spyglass in. That's gonna take care of like Teferi balancing my um my bridge. I'm gonna deny it just because you shortened it to the wrong way to shorten that. Um, I would buy the English version as well. You always have the English version on you. That's how you avoid a judge call. And everyone has their own right to call for a judge. The question was, or the comment was just that I would get a judge call every single time to explain the card. You can have an English version. What's up? Okay, bye. Spike the Japanese ones and sell them to the YouTube viewers. That would be that would be something, wouldn't it? Put a mulligan to five. This is a really good hand for us, by the way. Let's see what it can do for us. Obviously, just gonna play this out because the very next thing I want to do is Blood Moon or Bridge. Oh no, I keep them in a binder when I do that. All right, I think my opponent's dead. Let's find out together, shall we? Who's ready for Chandra? All right, opponent had to mull a little bit. Kept a one lander. I'm not really sure what was in the hand to keep the one lander here. Uh, we end up taking it though. Got to light up the night regulator coming with Chandra. This is a attack, play land, Chandra, uptick, mind stone, and prep yourself for whatever you're going to draw. So let's play match five. Shall we? Match number five here coming up. Playing this artisan build. Look at that discount, 50% off. Only have to buy two of, of four Ragavans. Keep them in your back pocket in the same sleeve. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, I got this, the, the, the normal version right here. I had an opponent that they had a Japanese lattice I told them I understood the card. We're good. They called the judge to explain the card to themselves because they didn't know uh, what the second ability was. They wanted to check something on it. So, judge came over, explained, got the oracle text. We're good. I was sitting there with Lattice in my sideboard. But I'm not going to tell them I had Lattice in my sideboard. Ha! <laughs> I know what that card does. Oh, I can't confirm the second ability though. Go ahead, call a judge. <laughs> Oracle text. <laughs> it was fun. They were good, lighthearted about it. They knew the artifact part. They were double checking something else on it. They wanted to know 
stuff. Nope, nope, it wasn't borrowed. I think they just had added it recently. Added it recently, might have had to pick the card up or whatever. Anyway, opponent is one and zero. Let's see what we can do here against them. All right, Gigantha. What is Gigantha meaning these days? Tron? This is a very bad hand against Tron. Tron's my initial thought, Zale. Mono Red Prowess? Man, if it's Mono Red Prowess, Chalice is great. Affinity, Bridge is great. If this is Tron, I think I have to go with what my hand has here. But man, if this is Tron, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, Prowess plays Gigantha sometimes. Opponent mulls to six, mulls to five. <laughs> it's got to be Tron. Blood Moon off the top, please. Actually, Ragavan first, then Blood Moon. Let's go. Maybe they'll mull to four. They're at five. Maybe this Chalice will be great. Simeon Spirit Guide off the top. No, Tron. With Expedition Map. All right. Well, it's going to be a tough one. It's a Sanctum, though. Not immediate Tron. We have a chance to get Blood Moon. I'm going to definitely throw a Chalice down on one. Chalice on one can stop, like, all the nasty cantrips. And then we're going to probably play Season Pyromancer and dig like crazy. Please, opponent, do not, I repeat, do not have Karn the Great Creator. We're gonna get rid of Bridge and Mindstone here. Light up the night's pretty good to see. Creating tokens and creatures here. Karn of the Great Creator is not as scary now that I have a light up the night. Opponent stumbles. Attacking. <clears throat> they have stumbled. In for four. One, two, three. Season Pyromancer. Get rid of these two cards. Dig, dig, dig. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I've never had so much burn in my hands for prison. They have found their fourth land. What do we got? Sylvan Scrying. Opponent has Tron next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Bam, down to four. Down to four, we're doing it this way. Because if it's Karn and removes a land, they die. If it's anything else that board wipes, they're dead. I don't care about Ugin. Here we go, what do you got? And if it's Ulamog, we kill two things here. Still hit for a lot and light up the night. Can't be a Lamog. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine. They're at nine. Light of the Night felt correct. Karn, the greatest of creators. Down ticks. Two, three, four, four. Walking Ballista block Pyromancer. Ping two tokens off. Still dies to four. Is there something in their sideboard they can get that gains them a lot of life? Can't be Worm Coil Engine here. Opponent's only got five mana. Didn't uptick on the Chalice, so they're not digging. What you got, Karn? What you got? Can 
concedes. All right, up a game. Oh, Ragavan there. That's not going to do anything. So, Spyglass, probably a big, big yes. Uh, Shattering Spree, maybe. 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 Definitely Spyglass, though. Um... I mean, we just want to be Blood Moon and attack, right? That's 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 the game plan here. Spyglass in for maybe Chalice. Just because I'm on the draw. Shattering Spree on turn one against a map is always pretty nice too. I don't hate the bridges. In this matchup, one stuff low to the ground. I feel like I want these shattering sprees in here. Regulator win more. It probably is. Let's get rid of the regulators. Regulators probably win more because if I have a Chandra down and I'm using that, it's maybe going to do a max of like. Four, five, six damage. Well, we have the Blood Moon. My opponent keeps seven. Uh, Fury can kill a Karn the Great Creator that came down and then attack for a lot. <clears throat> I think this Blood Moon's too late. My opponent kept seven. It's Mulligan looking for Shattering Spree or something nasty. Okay, I can do this. Keep light. We'll use Spyglass to hopefully be enough of a roadblock here. This is better than the Blood Moon on turn three and praying. Shattering Spree off the top would be cool. No dice. All right, we got to beat Tron here. I love the just instantly go for it. I respect that. Extra Fury here. Spyglass. All right. We have a Karn Liberated, Karn the Great Creator, and some other stuff. I'm going to have to probably hit Karn Liberated here. It's going to be a tough one, though, with a Worm Coil in there. Let's see what we can do. See what we can do. Tower played. See if they play creator and down tick, I could potentially fury this away. I'm thinking Worm Quill is showing up though. Okay. And map. Gosh dang. <laughs> well, we're gonna really test this. A Real soon here, if multiple Furies can win this game. Mindstone gets us to this. And they have Creator plus Liberated. It's a lot of Furies. Blood Moon here wouldn't be the worst. Blood Moon, followed by Killing Karn the Great Creator, probably. Oh, Karn the Great Creator, yeah. Well, it, it possibly could, because I can exile a Fury and then play a Fury. And it'll be two and um, three, right? Maybe? I don't know. We might be cracking Mind Stone. We might not, though. I guess let's just see what they do here. So that would be three and one. Then another Fury wouldn't kill it. But a Fury blocking would. 
I'm gonna let it resolve. I'm not gonna draw with the Mind Stone here. I want five mana. See what they go get. <clears throat> what do they go get here? By the way, I think our sideboard options were correct. Local metal coating is what they go get. It's fine. They'll shut down this land here. I can still fury away this and then play a fury if I wanted to. Okay. Which looks like the only real play I have here. I can't let this just sit here. And then this lets me hard cast one, which theoretically can kill this. It's not great, but it gives me a way to kill it. And we know that this is really all they have. Two unknown cards. It's got to be the best chance for us, right? They remove this, then we're dying to this. But we kill a Worm Coil Engine, hit a Blood Moon, hit a Shattering Spree. It would be good. Uh-oh. Claims our Spyglass. That's not good. Karn Liberated kills Fury. Attack for six. We'll at least take a top deck here. Top deck Spyglass into top tech Bridge is probably our out. Three unknowns. They haven't played the second tower and they haven't played the Sylvan Scrying. They have one unknown. Was tower revealed twice? Then there's two unknowns. Let's draw. distract <laughs> Sylvan Scrying definitely wasn't cast though all right they kill that attack for six I'm hoping they don't have another liberated they do all right we don't have a top deck because I'll play bridge they'll they'll kill it all right gotta beat Tron do I want these chalices back in now that I'm on the play? Probably. I could probably kill the Furies here for the two chalices on the play. We saw Claim, and that's kind of why I want it. So Blood Moon is protected, possibly. Turn two, Chalice on one, followed by Blood Moon's not bad. A Braids and Shattering Sprees here. Fury. Still think Fury could be okay here. But let's give this a try. We know what we want. Ragavan into Blood Moon would be, like, perfect. There's an Abraid. So we have a Braid plus then follow up Season Pyromancer. They have Sylvan Scrying. This hand's a little weird, but if they kind of stumble here, I think we'll be okay. Ooh, they just they just snapped off seven. That'll be interesting. Let's see this map. All right, sphere. We'll uh kill a sphere. Let's see what happens. Did they need the green mana? Shoot, shoot, shoot. All right, we have a reasonable hand here. Do they have Tron? Please don't have Tron. They don't have Tron. All right, we're playing Magic. Only just, though. Play a Chandra here. We obviously have to commit everything to the board. Oh, no. Artisan. No Tron, no Tron, no Tron. Shoot. 
They've got Tron. <laughs> All right. Blood Moon off the top. Chalice. Four. Chalice on 10. All right, I think I've got to go up here. Let's just see if we had a Blood Moon. We had a Chalice. I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to attack. Puts them to eight. I'm going to light up for four and put them to four. They need, they need Ugin, I think. And then I could play Fury. Man, they have seven cards though. And there's a part of me that could have been like, hey, Chalice on one to stop an ancient stirring. But down to four, we're at 20. I could top deck a light up the stage. It's just Karn liberated. Exiles Chandra. Oh, <laughs> a trophy. 5 0 with this artisan list lighting it up the night. It has been quite some time. Let's just, mm, let's just mm, take that trophy in. Finally, what a what a list. <laughs> what a list. True King, thank you for the, the the sub. TYTY, thank you as well. Never didn't have it. Man, if they had if they had if they had Ulamog here. What was I drawing? I was drawing a bridge, not very good. And a scrying. I don't know, it would have been tough. It would have been tough. Woo! Five oh, <laughs> I'm in the trophy lead race. <laughs> uh, they popped Chandra and realized they were dead. <laughs> dead on board. Here is the five oh list. It was previously run for five oh, and it repeats. Not my five oh initially, but as a different pilot here playing the list, we get it, and there's something to this list. Combination of light up the night. Plus Fire Artisan. Uh, a lot of lists are starting to look at Hammer of Bo Bogarden, I believe. This repetitive, I think Stickball Rust was playing Pulse recently. A Red Pulse, not Maelstrom Pulse. And these ways to just take your extra mana and push it upstairs is definitely proving to be nice. They're almost like going Big Red Prison. Uh, Ragavan... I joked about always hitting it, the the, the two of 50% off, but it did happen here. Blood Moon's still good. Didn't have to do multiple Blood Moons, like up to six or seven. We don't even have them sideboard here. This, this, this Planeswalker's pretty good. Like, I wrote this one off a while ago, and tonight, I'm convinced. Fire Artisan. Fire Artisan. By the way, if you are looking at Fire Artisan, keep in mind that I think, if I recall, you have the Japanese one, but you also have this one, which is the one in English, and you also have uh, this stained glass one. If you're looking for one, just saying, it's like a dollar. Any replacement recommendations for the two Raggedans? It's tough to replace because Ragavan obviously does that cool ramp and stuff. You could try Strike It Rich. I don't like that card very much. You could try two Desperate Rituals just so you can get to that three slot a little quicker. You could try, you could try like two just Lightning Bolts, honestly, just to take care of uh, opponents' Ragavans as well. Um, 
two Magus of the Moons if you need Blood Moon in your meta. One extra Mind Stone plus one extra Utility card, like an extra Braid. Um, maybe a Relic main board. I, I would do maybe like two Bolts, though. It's probably the cheapest way to do it. <laughs> Jackal Pup. There you go. Second of Braid, or third of Braid would be good. Anyway, Fire Artisan. Let's bring her down here. Fire Artisan, Light of the Night. A 5-0 list here. Getting it done. Getting it done. 